And so let's have a look at data representation 1 from the N5 syllabus. In a computer system, what we what we have is that numbers, characters, and so on are represented by a one or a zero or a bit, and the computer only understands these binary digits, the one or the zero. In this way, it is a binary device. We group together the bits typically into what's called a byte. So eight bits together make up one byte. And then we make up a whole lot of these bytes to make a kilobyte, which is 1024 bytes. Remember, it isn't 1000 bytes, it is 1024 because we are using a binary system. So one kilobyte is 1024 bytes. Then we can have 1024 of these kilobytes to make up one megabyte. Then we can have 1024 of these megabytes to make up one gigabyte and then 1024 gigabytes to make a terabyte and then 1024 of these terabytes makes a petabyte. It is this way that we can actually define the storage uh, of our binary data. The numbers that we have are represented in binary and in binary we use the to the power of 2. So 2 to the power of 0 is a 1, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, and so on. So with these we can use our, we can represent uh, integers. So let's take an example. If we take an example of 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Then we have a 1, we have an 8, we have a 16, and we have a 64. So in this case we can add them up, so this gives us 80, and then we have an 8 to give us 88, and then a 1 to give us 89. So the binary representation of 89 decimal is 01011001. Sometimes we have to convert from our decimal format into a binary format. So let's take an example here. First we start by dividing our value by 2. And we note the remainder. So 2 into 213 goes 106 times and then we have a remainder of 1. 2 goes into 106 53 times. This time we don't have any remainders. So it's remainder 0. 2 goes into 53 26 times to give us 52 and we have a remainder of 1. 2 goes into 26 13 times, becoming easier now for us, and there is no remainder because it's an even number. 2 goes into 13 6 times because it makes 12, and then we have 1 remainder. And 2 goes into 6 3 times, and this time we have no remainder because it's a, an even number. Now 2 goes into 3 1 time, because it makes 2, remainder 1, and 2 goes into 1, no times, and remainder 1. What we do now is that we read from here up to here. So then the value that we have is 1, 1, here, and here. 0, here, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And this is our value for 213. We could check it by 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 
128, and so on. So we should always check that we have the right value. So we have a 128 here. We have a 64. 32. This is a 16. We have a 16. And 8. We have a 4. And then we have a 1. So it's 128 plus 64 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1 and that should give us 213. The values that we've looked up looked to up to now have only represented positive numbers. Often we have to represent also negative numbers. So to do this in binary we typically have a sign bit. In this case the most significant bit here is going to be our sign bit. And with this we will now have a weighting of 100 minus 128. So if we take an example of 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, we have minus 128 plus a 64 plus a 16 plus a 2 then plus a 1. So in this case the value is minus 55. If this becomes a positive number, if this becomes 0, then we represent a positive number. The other type of number that we might want to represent is a real number. In this case it might be a fraction or a very large number. In this way what we have is what's called the Mantessa and an exponent. So we could represent a value such as this with the Mantessa part and then we could represent it with an exponent. So in this case we have 17 bits. So this value becomes this value here. With real numbers what we have is we have a number of Mantessa bits and a number of exponent bits. The more bits that we use for the Mantessa part, the higher the resolution that we can have for our number. And the larger the exponent part, the larger the values that we can actually represent. Also, the smaller the values that we can represent. Okay, so that's given us an introduction to a different representation.